Please, we are here at the Estadio Santiago Bernabéu. Welcome back to the channel. If you clicked on this video, you already know what we are doing. We are on the way to the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. For today's home match against Celta, to me, it should be a pretty straightforward win. The Leipzig game was four. The Valencia game was four. But today's an opportunity to bounce back. We are making some rotations. I read that Modric, Brahim, and Lucas Vasquez are starting, which doesn't worry me at all because they are all nasty at the end of the day. So I expect a good win. We are pulling out to the stadium. I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you guys in there. Remins, we are here with Daniel. Where are you from? Malaysia. You came here for the game? Yeah. What do you think the score is going to be? 2-1. Vinicius will score. Both? Yeah. What's your score prediction for the game? 2-1. Who scores? Vini and Modric. 2-0 for Madrid. Who scores? I think uh, Modric. 3-1. Real Madrid. 1 from Bellingham. 2 from Vinicius. And uh, Aspas. 3-1. Who came the goal? Luka Modric. <laughs> Los tres? No, no, no. Luka Modric, Vinicius and Fede Valverde. Remins, game started. I think it's going to be a 3-0 win. We'll see what happens. Good start to the game, but we gotta score. Kind of a boring first half. We had like 17,000 corners. Hey, we're winning 1 0. I did say this was going to finish 3 0. I think we are very much on track to do that. And hopefully, we'll get some goals in the second half. We'll see.
Let go, let go, let Remin. To be honest about yesterday's game, I did not like it one bit. You can definitely tell that Real Madrid are going through their worst run of form of the season. And even though we won 4-0, I don't think that the scoreline truly reflects how the game truly went. On the bright side, though, Arda Guller got his first official goal for Real Madrid. He reminds me a lot of Mesut Ozil, who was one of my idols growing up. And I was happy for him. He suffered a lot of injuries this season. He hasn't had the chance to play that much. And listen, there's a lot of talk that he's going to get loaned out. But I believe in Florentino. I believe in what he is building with his team. So if Arda Guller goes out on loan, it could be the best thing for his development but i have no doubt that arda Gullit's first goal yesterday will come down as a historic moment for the club so even though i didn't like the match that much arda Gullit definitely made my day but it means if you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the thumbs up button subscribe to our channel go follow us on tiktok on instagram links will be in the description and with that being said it means i will catch you guys next time peace